In this NSPF video, we'll take a closer look at how star ratings are calculated within the Nevada School Performance Framework. Schools earn points in the framework for a number of different measures. These points roll up into a performance indicator score. Those scores are then added together to produce a total index score. The index score is then mapped to a star performance level. The performance indicators and the measures that contribute to them are customized for the elementary, middle, and high school levels. Points available for each measure and indicator may vary between school level frameworks. However, each framework has a total of 100 points possible. Other videos in the series found on the department's website take a deeper dive into different indicators and measures. For the purpose of this video, we're going to look at a measure within the elementary school framework. Each measure has a point attribution table that outlines state performance expectations for that particular measure. For example, you can see how up to five possible points in the academic achievement indicator at the elementary school level can be obtained based upon the percentage of third graders that are proficient in the state's English language arts assessment. For each measure, full points can be earned by either achieving the state's long-term goals or by achieving at or above the 85th percentile of statewide student achievement on this measure. Half points are earned by meeting the state's 2017 interim progress goals or by achieving at the 50th percentile of statewide student performance. Lastly, schools performing at or below the 15th percentile of statewide student performance would earn the minimum points possible for the measure. Point attribution tables are available on the Accountability Data Portal at www.nevadareportcard.com. A school's performance, as measured by their index score, is then mapped to the policy descriptors that were developed for each of the five star levels. Developed by stakeholders, each policy descriptor includes consequences and support associated with each level, they're linked to NDE's goals and policy priorities. They identify any non-negotiables for school performance at each level and are succinct and clear. You could describe them to a friend in the supermarket checkout line. Here's an example of the policy descriptors for a three-star elementary school. Stakeholders determined a three-star school to be an adequate school because they are meeting the state's 2017 benchmarks for student performance for all the student groups in either academic achievement or growth. This academic achievement or growth threshold emphasizes Nevada's value to reward students' academic growth in a school performance rating. Subgroup performance also plays a role in a school star rating, reconfirming Nevada's commitment to preparing all students for success. Policy descriptors were developed for all three school levels and can be found at www.nevadareportcard.com. This slide shows the index score ranges that were used to determine the 2017 school ratings for elementary and middle school. In 2017, high schools did not receive a star rating. Other videos in the series will take a closer look at what performance looks like at particular star levels and explore some of the components of the Nevada School Performance Framework. All videos can be found at www.doe.nv.gov accountability.